MCIS Language Solutions, how to advocate with sustainable development goals for equitable language access. In 2022, MCIS and the SDG Cities Canada team at the 10C, Guelph Social Innovation Hub, Emily Hansen and Margaret Zhu collaborated on visualizing how MCIS and its Social Benefit Initiative Fund contribute to SDGs and advocacy for language rights. Uh, my name is Emily Hansen and I work at 10C Shared Space in Guelph. Um, I'm the SDG Cities lead here in Guelph at 10C. The SDGs are really a call to action. Uh, a call to action for the global community. So they were developed through a global consultation that involved uh, communities, organizations, and individuals across all sectors. So they really represent a vision for the future that we can all sort of understand and resonate with. So in Canada, we have a national strategy for achieving the SDGs, and even the Canadian government really recognizes that um, Achieving the SDGs at a national level isn't possible if local communities and organizations and individuals aren't engaged in that SDG work. So that's really where the SDG Cities project emerged. And our project also has a focus on mid-sized cities and small communities because we recognized there was a gap in resourcing and education and understanding the SDGs at that level. So working with MCIS and um, through the SDG Cities Academy and the work we've done since really kind of opened my eyes to the connection that language rights and language access have to the SDGs. Um, in our work together, we identified how MCIS is kind of actively and directly working towards some of the SDGs. So SDG 3, Good Health and Wellbeing, SDG 10, Reduced Inequalities, and SDG 16, Peace, Justice, and Strong Institutions. And I think we were able to demonstrate with some of the social impact data that MCIS collects, um, how you're working really um, amazingly towards that change. But I think more broadly, um, I see a connection between language rights and language access and the SDGs across all 17 of the SDGs. And we also know that one of the kind of core principles of the SDGs is to leave no one behind. And that's all about recognizing that um, our progress towards sustainable development can actually happen if people are excluded. So I think recognizing um, language and communications barrier, communication barriers as a real challenge in um, moving towards our shared goals and our vision for the SDGs is really important. And I'm really grateful for working with MCIS and, and kind of um, better understanding that um, connection and now being able to share the importance of language and language rights um, in the context of the SDGs with other organizations that we work with. And I also would really encourage um, especially local actors and people working in communities and at the local scale to uh, recognize that the work you're already doing is connected to the SDGs. So even if you see sort of the, these global goals, which are very high level, and you might not see yourself reflected in, in those ambitions, to know that um, you may already be working towards the SDGs. And I know we did a little bit of that work in our work with MCIS and with other participants in the Academy, um, to really recognize and um, appreciate the work that organizations and businesses and other folks are already doing towards the SDGs and, and celebrating that and then going further um, to take action. Learn about connecting your work with SDGs at sdgcities.ca. Learn about language advocacy of SDGs at mcislanguages.com.